Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to install PureDocs FSR3 Frame Generation Mod in Skyrim Special Edition. We'll be running the game on my Windows PC that has an RTX 2070 Super GPU. This mod works on any GPU, whether it's from Intel, Nvidia or AMD, it does not matter. You need to subscribe to PureDocs Patreon page in order to gain access to their Discord server where the mod files are present. They have provided the installation instructions on their Patreon page, I'll quickly go through them. Install the mod as any other escape plugin using mod organizer or vortex. I'll be using the former. I won't be explaining mod organizer in too much detail. Just cover the part that is required to install pure Dux mod. Need to make the game run in borderless mode instead of full screen. See the important part below for how to do that. Scroll down. If you are using SSE display tweaks, open SSE display tweaks .ini and set full screen to false and borderless upscale to false. Remember to remove the hash before them or they won't take effect. I'm not using this. If you're not using it, set B full screen to 0 in Skyrim prefs.ini. If you're using detection meter, make sure it's at least version 0.17. We'll show you all of this stuff in the later part of the video. Next step, check if you have dxgi.dll in the game folder. If so, download the modified reshade and replace the dxgi.dll file. I don't have it. I'll be using the vanilla version of Skyrim. I haven't installed any mods. Some mods can make the game very demanding on the hardware. This is where frame generation comes into play. Enable vSync for Skyrim SE.exe file in NVIDIA control panel. Launch the game and press end keyboard key in the game to open the menu for upscalers and do authentication. I have already shown the authentication process in my Elden Ring video. You can refer to that. Slide DOF all the way to the left. We can access this setting from the in-game settings. Turn off ENB, Edge, AA and DUF. I'm not using ENB. Need to set the FPS gap in the mod menu to half of our display's maximum refresh rate minus 1. For example, if our display supports up to 144Hz refresh rate, need to cap the FPS to 71. My display supports up to 240Hz refresh rate, so I'll be capping the FPS to 119. Other things that you need to know, if you use reshade, then you need to download the modified version of it that PureDark posted on the Discord server. Note that we cannot change quality level at runtime. We need to change the preset in the INI file and restart the game. So before installing the mod, I'll just run the vanilla version of the game. It's the Steam version of Skyrim Special Edition. I'll quickly show its version. Open the game's install directory. And there it is. Right click on Skyrim SE.exe. Click on properties. Click on details. This is the game's version 1.6.1. 1170.0 Game settings Borderless checked Windowed mode checked Full HD resolution Anti-aliasing set to TA Ultra preset That's it Skyrim prefs.ini file is present in the Skyrim folder There it is I just look for B full. Hit enter. It is set to nil, zero. File, save, close. We are in. This game's FPS is capped at 60. It's running using Direct 3D 11 API. It's going to be very easy to tell whether frame generation mod is working or not in this game FPS is going to get doubled quickly show you the in-game setting go to system click on settings display disable depth of field from here there it is move the slider all the way to the left so first we need to download the mod file this is PureDux discord server under the download section just click on Skyrim Beta Access. Scroll down until you find FSR3 Build 03 Hotfix 1. Just download the archive file. Click on this blue link. Then we need to download Skyrim Script Extender SKSE from this website. It will be given in the description of this video. This is the version that we need to download. It corresponds to Anniversary Edition Game Version 1.6.1170. Click on the blue link. Then we need to download Mod Organizer 2 from Nexus Mods website. Need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. 
just click on files click on manual download under mod organizer 2 these are the files that i just downloaded first extract the contents of skac archive file open the folder copy all of the files except for src folder need to paste them in the games install directory in this directory okay so we can use skse by launching this exe file skse 64 underscore loader game started we can verify whether skse is working or not by typing a command just press the tilde key it's right below the escape key type get skse version hit enter you should see something like this version of skse now we need to install mod organizer 2 launch the exe file accept specify the directory where you want to install it next next make sure everything here is checked install launch the application need to create its instance next i'll be using create a portable instance instead of a global instance a portable instance stores everything in mod organizer installation folder select skyrim special edition from here it scanned our pc storage select the platform steam next link nexus mods account don't want to do it completely optional if you want to see the tutorial just click on yes here entirely up to you all right sksc is automatically loaded up by mod organizer okay so in order to install pure dax mod just click on this icon here navigate to the directory where the archive file is present there it is Select it and then click on open. OK. Mod has been installed. Just check it. It is enabled now. Make sure SKS is selected here. You can launch the game by clicking on run. Click on unlock here. OK, this prompt showed up. DLL plugins you have installed require a new version of the address library. Visit the address library webpage for updates. Click on yes. It will open a Nexus Mods page. Just need to download one file from here. Click on Files. Scroll down. Click on Manual Download under All in One Address Library Anniversary Edition Game Version 1.6.x Manual Download. Click on Slow Download. There is the archive file that I just downloaded. Now open Mod Organizer. Install it. Click on this icon. Select the all in one address library archive file. Click on open. OK. Check the box corresponding to it. Now open NVIDIA control panel. If you have an AMD based GPU, open adrenaline software. We need to enable vSync from here. Click on program settings. Click on add need to find the game's exe file there it is scroll down to the end set vertical sync to on that's it we are ready to run the game make sure skse is selected here and click on run unlock now the game is running using direct 3d12 api open the mods menu by pressing the end keyboard key after doing the authentication process you will be seeing these settings from here make sure enable frame generation setting is checked enable hard fix setting should also be checked this will help in preventing the flickering of the game's interface upscaler can be selected from this drop down bar dlss xcss and fsr3 are supported i have an rtx based gpu so i'll be using dlss quality preset 
फ्रॉम दिस पा वी कैन कैप दिन गेम एफ पी एस एल कैप टू वन हंड्रेड नाइनटीन लेट स्टार्ट द गेम लोडेड द सेम सीक्वेंस एंड नाउ वी आर गेटिंग अराउंड वन हंड्रेड एंड एटीन एफ पी एस वाउ द गेम इज रनिंग सो स्मूथली मॉड इज डेफिनेटली वर्किंग गेम्स इंटरफेस इज ऑल्सो नॉट फ्लिकरिंग दैट्स रिली गुड टू सी आर नॉट ऑब्जर्विंग एनी आर्टिफैक्ट्स अराउंड माई कैरेक्टर इमेज क्वालिटी इज लुकिंग डिसेंट यूजिंग डी एल एस एस इट्स अब स्किलिंग द गेम्स रेजल्यूशन फ्रॉम सेवन ट्वेंटी पी टू फुल एच डी लॉट ऑफ पीपल प्ले दिस गेम एट फोर के रेजल्यूशन अब स्किलर विल बी वेरी हेल्पफुल इन इम्प्रूविंग द गेम्स परफॉर्मेंस इन दैट सिनेरियो So that's it with the video guys I hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day